Hey guys, what's happening? It's a beautiful day out here. It's a spring day. I want to show you some of my latest finds in this old snapper lawnmower here. I found it on the curb. It pulls over. Pretty good compression. So we'll see if she goes. I'm going to check the plug and is, there's oil in it. So that's one. I also found in the same night. This little snow blower. You know, I mean, I know snow blowers are out of season, but hey, why not? It, I mean, somebody threw this on the curb. Also has real good compression, so I don't know why people throw things away, but I'm gonna fart with the lawnmower today. Quick and easy catcher. A genuine snapper bag. Yeah. This critter looks like the turtle wax character. You know this thing's old. It's all metal. So let's see what we got here. Here this little critter is. I know this uh, shroud in here looks the same as our lawnmower which is a 90's. I, when I first got this, I was thinking maybe it was from the 70s, but maybe the 70s one is like the green one my cousin has up north. I don't know. It's definitely got some kind of little leak going on here. Maybe an oil leak. Probably came out of the exhaust when whoever tried to start it last tried to start it. I don't know. It's got some oil in it. Could use a little bit, but you're supposed to check it when she's warm. Fuel tank is bone dry. Bone dry. Let's check the plug. The side, a little dirty, but it's not bad underneath here. Looks like maybe the shaft is bent. Yeah, right there. Maybe. Nah. Oh, whatever. Not too worried about it. Oh, there's some gas leaking out of the carburetor. So that's not going to be pleasant. So this thing's been sitting with old gas in it since somebody tried to start it. Well, we'll see what we can do. Whoops. And behind plug number one. It's kind of dirty, but I mean, it's not carbon filled. It smells like gas. Somebody's. I think what happened is this had been sitting for a while. Somebody tried to start it, wouldn't start, or wouldn't run worth a crap. Because I can smell the old fuel in this thing. It's been sitting for a while. Now that I've disengaged the safety mechanism, due to my expert knowledge on anti-safety devices. All I did was tighten the clamp around the cable. No big deal. Alright. An engine needs three things to run. Fuel, air, and spark. We have just established that one out of those three things this motor for sure has. Step three is going to be fuel. And I think that's going to be our biggest problem. But for now, I'm going to put a little bit in the tank and a little bit in the hole of the cylinder see what this thing sounds like. See if she runs. Be right back. Alright, I got my little soda pop cap here of gas. Pour her in there just a little, a little extra to get her to go. 
I know this isn't what you're supposed to do, but there's no primer on this thing. And I just want to see if she's going to fire up. All right, back over. It's going to, probably going to smoke. Since I had it on its side. Oops. If anything, I'm going to for sure need a new uh, spark plug boot. Snug. Let's get the boot back on. Okay, I got my spark plug boot back on. As you can see, and the spark plug is in the hole nice and tight. I could, I didn't check the gap. I probably should have, but that's all right. Let's see. Throttle to choke. Take it over here in case bad things start to happen. Okay, we are now ready to hear the roar of the mighty Briggs and Stratton 3.5 horse. Here we go. Well, that was a good start. Nope. Carburation. But We have confirmed that this is a runner once I get the carb cleaned out. So awesome. Not bad for a free find in the middle of a rainstorm. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the updates.